I'm really grateful for the team that we have here today. It's a team from the Kressel Art Center in St. Joseph, Michigan. If you've never been to St. Joseph, it's a beautiful, beautiful place and they do awesome things there, um, especially at the Kressel Museum. So our presenter today is going to be Holly Garces. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And Holly is an art therapist and she works with the Kressel Art Center in their Art Angel program. And what she does is brings art to patients at the hospital, um, some it looks like some pediatric patient in the pediatric unit, as well as to an infusion center at a cancer center. Um, she also provides art therapy to the public as part of a counseling team at, with Thrive Psychology in St. Joseph. Um, in a, <clears throat> so I want to, I'm very grateful that you guys have taken the time today to present for us and to bring our families together. And I'm going to turn it over to you, Holly, as I start bringing our families in, if that's okay. Okay. All right. Well, I'm very happy to be with everybody today. Um, always happy to share art. I think art is such a great way to connect and bring people together, um, share things together, have fun together, um, share your thoughts, your feelings, can really open up conversation, um, allows us to express ourselves. So I'm excited to be able to bring this with you guys today. I see lots of little, little screens popping up. Um, this is my first time doing um, a virtual type of thing like this. So um, hopefully I can work it and it will be fun. Um, yeah, and I think I should just wait a little bit longer for everybody to pop up on the screen. Is that okay? Let's see. Okay. That is just fine. Whatever. No point in getting started till everybody's settled because you know everybody's okay. gonna be thinking about their camera coming on and <laughs> hope everybody is appropriate. There, I see a couple faces popping up. Hi, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to see all these people. Nice little. Oh, it looks like you get to see some of our beautiful kids too. Yeah, I do. Hello. Not mine because it's morning and she is and he is she she still acts like a teenager even though she's 21. She is snoozing. <laughs> she's gonna miss this party. Well, I think this will be a fun project for everybody to do. I think everybody can participate in this. Um, no matter what your ability is, whatever, even if we can just put the clay in, in hands and let them feel and squeeze a little bit, put a finger on it, however we can get everybody involved, that's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. Looks like I see some art supplies out already. Make sure you got everything out, ready to go. It's kind of like getting ready to bake a big cake, but we're not gonna eat it. <laughs> we're gonna make something beautiful to be able to hang up. Hello. Have, have I, want to, I want to say, to say thank you. I am Isabel. Uh, I, I am living in Utah, but Tiago Borba Parabé is in Uruguay. And he, his family is on, on this activity too. But because I have this beautiful picture of Tiago that he's 12, I decided to put here behind, beside me. And I am waiting for my grandson, he's three years old, to help me with the, with the activity. So I hope he came. If not, I'm going to tell him. Thank you so much okay. for this opportunity. You're so welcome. Thank you for joining us. It's so good to have everybody here. Hello. I see uh, Sophie and uh, Abigail, is that right? Hi, hi guys. And hi. Andy. And I got Jessica with two little guys in there. Hi. We see Tara, Tara and Margaret. We know that Margaret's there because we can see her hand in her mouth. <laughs> yes, she's eating. Sorry, and her okay. Just, I'm her just food I'm, all over. <laughs> I'm just enjoying it. It's fun. <laughs> and we're gonna actually have to ski daddle here. We can only stay on for a little bit because Margaret has therapy. All right. 
We're glad everybody could join us for however long they can join us for. We'll try and re-log back on once we drive to therapy. <laughs> and see, those of us doing this art project today kind of get a bonus uh, social session as well because we get to see each other. It makes us feel like we're not all sitting at home alone doing this. We're almost all in here. I see a few more names just waiting for some videos to pop up. Some people may choose not to turn their video on, so okay. you don't probably need to necessarily wait for that okay. if that's what we're waiting for. Okay. Um, well, they might. But, okay. Well, I'm, I'm ready to get going. Are you guys ready? Is everybody ready to move? Okay. So you got my face and then we got my hand action. So, um, so you'll be able to kind of see what I'm doing and what I'm saying and, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So this project that we're gonna do is called Face the Sun. And I think the sun, we need it, right? It's, it's the one thing that shines on all of us and warms us all and brightens our day. And so I thought it would be fun to kind of tap into that a little bit and create our own little sun that we can have in our homes and kind of remind us of that warmth and that brightness and that light that we all kind of need sometimes, right? right. So uh, Holly, can I just yeah. add, say one thing? And that is that sure. um, for those of you, I mean, if not everybody is that familiar with Zoom, but if you click in your upper right-hand corner, your, your view button, you can turn it to speaker view, which you'll be able to hear Holly. You'll be able to see her hands in large if you need to, to see what she's doing. If you want to have the group going, that's on you. You can decide. But just in case somebody didn't know they could do that, you can switch to, to speaker view if it's not already, and then you'll be able to see really well. Thank you, Carrie. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, Ann. <laughs> if you guys need to jump in with any of this kind of support stuff, do it, because yeah. like I said, this is my first time going around. It's all good. We good, appreciate good. it. <laughs> all right, so um, I believe that you guys all kind of got like a packet. And so here's some images of some of the different suns that we're kind of kind of be going for. Um, it's going to be about the size of the plate when we're done making it. So it's not going to be real big, but a nice little size so you can find a good place to kind of put it. Um, so. All right. So we're going to go ahead and start. And the first thing that you're going to start with is your packet of model magic. And you're just going to open it. Hopefully you can get it open easily. Mine opened easy this time. It right out and I think a couple of you already had it out. I saw I saw some hands going already. And I love model magic because it's nice and soft. It does not get messy on your hands, which is awesome. And you can kind of just kind of start squishing it and playing with it a little bit, squeezing it in your hand. It will kind of warm up with the warmth of your hand. And then we're gonna kind of make a nice little long shape, not too big, but we're just gonna do that to kind of get an idea of, we're gonna divide this into three parts because we want three different balls that it's gonna be used to make the whole sun. So I'm just gonna kind of pinch off one and then I'm gonna pinch off another and they don't have to be exactly the same. So I got three little hunks there. I'll give everybody a second to kind of do that. And I'm gonna go with um, a thumbs up if everybody can kind of give me a thumbs up when they got that, okay. I see a thumbs up, yep, yep. All right, all right. <laughs> I see some just playing with it. It's hard to not just play with it, but we're gonna make something good. How about everybody else, are we good? We got our three little balls here. We're just gonna kind of roll them, make a nice little little shape, make each one a nice little ball. That just kind of gives us something to start working with. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one of the balls, doesn't matter which one, I'm gonna go with this one, and we're gonna flatten it out. And we're gonna kind of make a nice round 
pancake shape. Brown, 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 brown. And you can have your plate now in front of you. And you can kind of start to push it onto the plate. So once this is kind of all made, it's gonna stay on the plate. It's gonna to need to stay on the plate, probably till tomorrow. It's gonna to have to stay there and dry overnight because we want it to be completely dry before you try to move it. In other words, it might kind of pop apart. All right. So it's not as big as the plate. It's just kind of a nice little pancake on there. And once you guys get your pancake kind of stuck to your plate, you can hold it up and let me see your pancake. And just to let everybody know also, our plates are slightly bigger because I didn't see the seven inch instructions. Oh, okay. We have eight and a half inch, so it might be smaller. It might look smaller on your plate than it does on Holly's plate. Yeah, and that's okay. Any, any size plate is good. We just need a nice surface to kind of hold it while it's drying and give us a place to work. I see all your pancakes, lovely. Lovely little pancakes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to make the shape that's going to make the face part of the sun. So you're going to pick up another little ball. And I like to hold it like this, right in my palm when I do this. And then I take my little handy dandy finger and I just poke a hole in it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger and my pointer finger. Is that your pointer finger? Index pointer finger, yep. And <laughs> it's gonna start pinching. So this, this technique is, is an official technique of art making if you're doing clay. And what we're doing is we're actually making, they call this a pinch pot, but this is gonna be the face of our sun. So you just kind of keep working it around and it doesn't need to be perfect. So I'm kind of pushing a little bit more, making my sides a little bit thinner, kind of opening it up a little bit. And I just keep pinching and pinching and pinching. Can I see some pinching going on? Let's see. Oh, I see some pinching. Yes, looking good, looking good. Oh yes, Daniela, that looks good. Rena, yeah. Oh yes, you guys are looking good. Okay, so you can kind of see how big I made it. Not too big, about the size of my palm. And I'm kind of, kind of, whoops. I'm just gonna kind of see how it's gonna, yeah, that looks like that will be a good face size. Ooh, this clay, when you touch it to another piece of clay, it sticks right away. That's kind of a good thing about it, but also a bad thing about it because it kind of makes it tricky sometimes. All right, so now does everybody have their, tissue, little tissue, tissue. And this is, I like this part. So um, think of one thing that was a little bit frustrating either yesterday or this morning for you. And I want you to put that, whatever that thing that was frustrating to you inside of your hanky, you're gonna squeeze it up like as tight as you can, just Let's see, what was something that bothered me? Oh, a silly thing, like just going out to the car. And then I was like, oh, I forgot my phone. So like in the car, seatbelt buckle, had to go back in the house to get the phone. Just something little, you know, those little things that kind of get to us sometimes. A nice little squeeze. Okay, so now you're going to take your little squeezed up hanky. And you're gonna... Charlie, mm -hmm. could you please repeat that fast step? And, and what you were doing when you were scrunching it. Repeat it? <laughs> yes, just, just, how just yeah, how yes to, yes, if you could please repeat it. <laughs> that you're gonna use your hanky to kind of put a frustration into, is that what we're saying? And you're just gonna squeeze up that hanky and it can be anything. That, hmm? So you're just gonna squeeze it up and make a nice tight little ball. And what's gonna happen with this tight little ball is it's gonna go inside of your pot. Okay, so that's why it needs to be nice and tight. And you might need to make your pot a little bit bigger if it doesn't fit. But we need that hanky in there to give the, 
the face of the sun some good support once we attach it. So this part's all, oh, look at that, very nice, looking good. Let me see some other little tissue filled pots. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, Rena, you might need to make your pot a little bit bigger, okay? Let's see. Daniela, that looks good. Holly, everybody also has a full size piece of tissue paper rather than a <laughs> hanky tissue. So I don't, they might need to make it, they might, they need to make their tissue smaller by getting some That off, is possible. That is okay. possible. If you feel like you have too much stuff, yes. If you feel like you have too much stuff, rip it in half, definitely. Cause I just had like a um, tissue, like you blow your nose with and it looks like some of you guys have the, like a paper towel almost size. Yeah, so rip it in half if it seems like too big, like if you can't squish it up enough. Okay. Yes, I went crazy. Uh, I supersized your instructions. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We can adjust. We can adjust. All right. What do we think? Do we make a good adjustment? How's it going, Anne? Did we get it adjusted? Let's see. It's a little tricky. Looks Yes, Abigail and Sophie seem like they got it worked out. Sophia got it worked out. All right, Sarah, how's yours? Did you make a good adjustment? All right, looks good, looks good. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna marry these two pieces together. I got my little pinch pot with the hanky in it or tissue and I got my pancake and now we're gonna marry them together. We're gonna put them together. And you want to try to center it in the middle of the pancake. So there we go. And like I said, once you put it on there, it's kind of going to start sticking right away. And I think I'm going to, I don't know what little tools you guys have. Do we have like a popsicle stick or a craft stick? Anything like that? Yeah. Popsicle. I'm going to go with the popsicle stick for this part. And I'm going to, let's see if I can do it this way. I'm just going to kind of. And you can also just use your finger too. Your finger is always a great tool for this. We're just gonna kinda, you wanna seal it all the way around, just nice and gently. You don't have to push too hard. All the way around. And now it's, look at everything's stuck. It's stuck to my plate. The face is stuck there. Everything's stuck. You know what it makes me think of? Like a little funny hat right now. Looks like a little hat of some sort. <laughs> yes, I see, I see. Oh yes, looking good. Look, oh, everybody, awesome, awesome. I see, I see Tara, Tara's all packed up in her car seat. The little one's all packed up in her car seat, ready to go. That's great. All right. How about Chris, how we doing? Looks good. All right. All right. Are we ready? Now we got it. Now we get to do the fun part, which is making all of the designs for our son. And this part's really fun because there's lots of different ways to do it. You can start getting kind of more creative, use your imagination, kind of think about how you want your son to look. So I'm going to show kind of the pictures again that kind of show some of the different ways the rays and the face can look, right? So the rays can be pointy rays. They can be curly rays, curly Q rays. They can just be little circles. Like this one at the top here. So lots of different ways to make the sun, make the face. And this is your chance to kind of do it however you want. That's kind of the fun part. So I can show a couple different things. I'm just gonna play a little bit to show you guys, okay? So like if you wanted to do curly Q rays, you just kind of make some snakes, maybe curl it around a little bit. Let's see, oh my gosh, okay, I'll try it again. Maybe like that, make like a kind of a curly Q. And then you could stick that on your son. And you can make a whole bunch of those and have those go boop, 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 all the way around. Oh, I'm gonna tell you one thing first. 
I'm going to have you take this last hunk that you have and kind of divide it in half so that you can kind of ration it out for yourself as you're making the different parts of the face. So I would say one hunk used for the face and then the other hunk used for making the rays and stuff around the sun. Um, so the curly Q, that's one kind of sunshine ray you could do. Another thing that you can do is if do you guys have a little knife, yeah, is that you can kind of cut the shapes out. You can kind of cut a little triangle like so. And then that can be your little shape that goes around your sun. And what do I want to do today? I think I'm going to go with the little circles. That one sounds fun to me today, but you guys can do it. Whatever, whatever floats your boat, whatever sounds good for your sun. So I'm going to do little circles. So I'm just going to kind of make a bunch oh, of little circles. Holly, could you show the picture of the options of the different yeah. ones again? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Please. Let's see. I'm going to try to do it nice and close so you guys can see them and try to hold it. Okay. That's what's fun about this mm -hmm. is that you can really. Oh, that's adorable. Do it however you want. Okay. All right. Hi, I how are we doing? Hi. Oh my goodness, look at you. Adorable. That's a nice little one. And if anybody needs some like little pointers as you're kind of going along or a question, if you're kind of stuck and you're like, wait, what should I do? I don't know. You can unmute yourself and ask a question, okay? And I'll try to kind of help guide you through. So I'm just doing like the little circles. And that's kind of a fun way to do it because I can really put your little, your little fingerprint into it. Your fingers are going to be all over this, which is one of the things I like about art is that we make it with our own hands. I see everybody working, working, working. That's awesome. And we got I got two more little spots here. So I'm just gonna kind of go with just like the basic start and maybe I'll add some more texture or details as I go on. But um, now I'm gonna kind of move on to the face. If you guys have already started on your face, awesome. Just kind of go with it. There's lots of different ways to do the face, no right or no wrong. Um, you just kind of pinch off your little pieces as you go. So I'm just gonna kind of start with some eyes. I'm gonna go big eyes today. I feel like big eyes. One eye. This one's pretty big. Let's see. Another big eye. And the nose, you can do the nose any, if you want to have a nose, you don't have to have a nose. But I like to go with this little kind of, your fingers are such good tools for clay because they can, if you pinch, you can, almost see you have like this little triangle shape in there. You can kind of pinch, make a good little nose shape just by pinching and making shapes. That's kind of a funny nose, but I'm gonna go with it. mouth. You can give them a, the biggest smile you want or just a funny face. That's a fun thing about this too, to make them look serious. 
or her, him or her, or just the sun. Hi, I see a little face there. <laughs> I see some little faces there. All right. And for my mouth, I'm going to go with making just a nice little, little snaky shape. Probably even more than I need. Let's see. I'm going to have to turn it around. That's the tricky part about this. Okay. Whoa. And like I said, the fun thing is that it just sticks on. That's the good thing and the bad thing about it. It sticks so fast. Sometimes it's hard if you make a mistake to get it back off, but uh, I think that's coming along. How's everybody else is coming along? You're doing good. So now when you kind of have your basic shape, what you do is you start using your tools. You can add different texture. So I definitely want to get some little eyeballs in there. Hi. Excuse me. Yeah. Who do we got? I put it I was in mine. Oh my gosh. Awesome. Jessica, that looks in, looking good. <laughs> I know that's not a Jessica. That's just what the name is. I don't know your names, little guys. I don't know, but you're cute. Our names are Benjamin and Solomon. Benjamin and Solomon, thank you. It's nice to meet you guys. You guys are working hard. I see you. What is that triangle thing for? Triangle thing. He's talking oh. about the phone. We'll come to that. We'll come to that. You'll see. You'll see. So keep adding different little details. I want you guys to make this just the way you want. So take your time. This is kind of our little time to work. And if anybody wants to unmute or share a little something right now, we could do that too. How's everybody's summer going? Anybody do anything awesome yet this summer? Hmm? Me and my sister, my family went to Delaware. Delaware? What was in Delaware? Horseshoe crabs. Horseshoe crabs? What? Mm -hmm. We got to learn how to hold horseshoe crabs. You got to hold them. And yeah. what was that like? What did they feel like? They felt really um, hard, uh -huh. but they smooth. Hmm. Did, were you nervous to hold them? Yeah. I wasn't, yeah. and I got used to it. Hmm. Horseshoe uh, crabs are also at the Outer Banks. And we, we went to Michigan. I'm in Michigan. <laughs> what did you do in Michigan? Me and my grandpa and grandma and go fishing. I caught the biggest bass ever. Awesome. <laughs> it's that long. Oh. Summer is the best, isn't it? Summer is so fun. I see people here in South Carolina and the South are a little slow. I've got my rays, but I didn't hear what to do with the face. With the face, oh, you just kind of, you get your other little hunk once you okay. got your on, and then you just kind of start making shapes for the face. So for my eyes, I just made a couple little circles. And I kind of pushed them on. Yeah. And you can make it not make no. You can just kind of make a little You can, you can cut out a, a triangle shape if you want for a nose. Like that. Or whatever. It's I, I kind of think of it as like a little bit like a pumpkin. Like if you're making a death or lantern make the face however you want that's kind of the fun of it you know if you want to have a pointy nose or a round nose that could be a little nose we tried and to add glasses and hearing aids oh there we go <laughs> and then for the mouth you can just kind of do like a snake shape 
a snake tape and then I agree. That's what I was going to talk to you about. It's, there's oh, well. Okay. Yeah. And then you kind of, it's always tricky because I'm upside down. Okay. And then you can kind of have that be like a little mouth. That's a big <laughs> oh my goodness. Somebody's got a big mouth. <laughs> that son's got a lot to say. It's, that son is screaming. That son is screaming. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. I'm the pirate son. Yeah. My son is screaming because it's getting burned from its own heat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the sun is some hot stuff. Right. My son is smiling because it's warm. Yeah. So yeah. how's everybody how's everybody feeling about their sons? Are they still kind of adding more things? Yeah. I feel happy because I have no more play left and I don't want to do anything else. Okay. You you've got all your clay used up, huh? Yep. Okay. okay. It doesn't take long. I'm going to kind of add some more little spikies. Okay. Again, I put some people's on it. Wow. Hey. I made little few balls on mine. Wow. <laughs> That's one wild son. What is uh, the feet for? Hmm? Well, the... you'll see. We'll see. We're going to get there in a minute. We're going to give everybody a couple more minutes to kind of keep building. Keep making. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. If yeah. you have extra clay, what do you do with it? You can add more to your son, or you can make a little something else. My nurse made Botox lips for our son. Oh, awesome. Nice and plump. Looking good. Looking good. <laughs> Excuse me. So mm -hmm. I got the face. Now, what were what was the next step? <laughs> Look, hold, hold your up. Hold yours up. Let me see where you're at. You got the face. You got to have to come real close to the camera. You're going to have to come real close. It's real hard. So now what you want to do is if you want to add, use one of the tools. Okay. One of the tools, you can go back and add some texture. So you can nice. see, like on this one, I just added like little dots around. Nice. Okay. Or with this one, I could add some like little lines. I figured that's what it was. I just wanted to make yeah. sure I was on the right track. Yep, you're on the right track. So that just kind of adds, makes it a little bit more interesting. They have the different textures. That's a nose. I need a nose for that. One. Did somebody else have a little question oh. there? I thought? Was that Sophia? Did you have a question, hon? Yeah. You no, you're doing all right. I'm just adding some more little, little textures in there. Natalie, how's it going over there for you guys? Doing good? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. Ha, a we got a mouth. We got a mouth. And a nose. <laughs> oh, I see. I see we added some marker action in there, too, huh? Yeah, we use a dry erase marker to make oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Add some color. Add, add some black. Okay, yeah, how are you doing? Excuse me? This is what I did for my race. Yes. Ooh, I said. Excuse me. Mm-hmm. My son got polka dots. Your son got polka dots. Awesome. Oh, one thing I was gonna say that's always kind of fun to add. I ran out of clay, but eyebrows. Eyebrows add a lot of expression to our faces. So if you happen to have a little tiny bit left, 
can add some little I'm eyebrows. Trimming, I'm I kinda, trimming mine to have a little extra. Yeah. Eyebrows always add a lot of expression to your face. We didn't have eyebrows. We looked silly. I see a helicopter, nice helicopter. <laughs> it was fun. All right. Awesome, guys. All right, so we had a question about, and let's see. I can add some color to the eyebrow. Wait, no. Yeah. Yeah, some little. All right, I think I'm satisfied with my little fun action. Um, so one of the things you want to do before we go too much farther in this is I can start next. I start. Okay. Oh no, we do this towards the end. We get ours. We have we have eyebrows with black. They're black eyebrows. It's it's going. It's going. All right. Now, does everybody feel like they have a, a finishing or a stopping place with adding their decorations or their texture and stuff? Yeah, yeah. I do. We feel like we're ready for the next part. Yeah. Yes. Yes. yes a good thumbs up from everybody. Okay. So <laughs> our suns are beautiful the way they are, of course, but I think suns need to shine. They need to have a little, a little color to them. So that's why we have the gold paint. So we're going to give them a nice shine. Everybody's got their gold paint. And you really don't need hardly any paint to do this. I'm going to show you. I, I'm just going to put my paint onto a paper towel here. I need a paper towel, Mom. Okay. And I don't, what type of paint do you guys have? Let me see. What do we got? Just like a little, a little, okay, perfect. So it's like mine. So we're just going to give it a little shake. Sorry, everything's shaking. Mm -hmm. Same thing with acrylic paint. Yeah, acrylic paint. But try not to get it on your clothes. But we're not using too much. Okay, then you flip your top. And it's just a tiny bit. Let's see, is it going to come out? Oh, nope. <laughs> it's not coming out. Sometimes the top gets clogged. Let me unclog it. Oh no, it's not clogged. Come on. Okay, shake it down. Here we go. Try again. There we go. That much. That's it. It's like a. What will we paint with? Just like a, like a little dime size, nickel size amount of paint. And you guys have sponges? Yes, little spongy sponges. Hey boys, I'm gonna have you guys mute, mute yourself a little bit, okay? And then we'll keep going. You got the mute? Awesome. Oh, yep, you got it. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna do the paint and you're just gonna load it up with that little bit of paint. And if you wanna add more, you can go back and add more, but all you're gonna do is you're just gonna kind of dab it on there. And you can dab it up as much as you want. You can get it in all the little nooks and crannies. And the white will still kind of show through a little bit and that's okay. That's how it's gonna be. And I think I might need a little more paint, but we just wanna start with just a little bit at a time so we don't get too much out. And you see it's starting to get a nice little gold color to it. I'm going to keep working it. You guys keep working yours. Yeah. And you just want to do light dabs because you don't want to smush your clay because it is so wet. And if you smush it too much, you'll lose all that great detail that you added, all those cool lines and shapes. You just want to keep working it around, see? And I think I'm going to get a tiny bit more paint. If you need a tiny bit more paint, you can do that too. Oh, oh, oh. Just a little bit more on my face. 
see, there we go. Dabba dabba. Like this. Let's see. Like what? Like that. Oh, yeah. That's it. You got it, Sophia. You got it. It is called. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go with a little bit more on mine, too. I like going just a little at a time so we don't end up with a crazy paint mess. And that sponge really can get in there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna kind of show mine. And you can see it's got a lot of gold on it, but it's still a little bit of that white's coming through. And that kind of makes it so that the texture and everything kind of really stands out on it. Happy little face. Hmm. And then the very last thing that we're gonna do, the string part, you're just gonna have to kind of do that after when it's dry to be able to hang it up. But you are gonna, we're gonna put a hole. We need to make a hole for the string. I'm gonna try to show this the best I can here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna go right here with it. So I'm gonna make a hole. You're gonna use your little, whatever little round tool you have. And you kind of wanna make a, you're gonna poke it in and then kind of to make a nice hole. And you wanna be able to at least see the, some of the plate through the hole so that you know that you got all the way through there. And that's your beautiful little sun. And when it's dry, you'll be able to pop it off of here. You'll just kind of be able to work it off the plate once it's really dry. Um, even once it's dry, the clay still feels soft. It still feels a little bit soft. It never gets like completely like hard, hard, like regular clay. It still feels really light and it will still feel a little bit soft, but it won't be wet, you know? So you wanna let it get really dry, good and dry. You guys are all looking good. And if you feel like you have your sun done, if you want to kind of show it off to the group, you're going to have to make sure you get up to the screen nice and close if you want to. Oh my goodness, Margarita, that is beautiful. Look at that. Everybody see that? Oh my gosh. Take a second to pop your head up and see other people's creations. Sarah, beautiful. You guys, these are great. Wow. Oh my gosh. Chelsea, that's so cute. Yana, oh, you guys did so good. Oh, I just love it. Beautiful, beautiful Abigail and Sophia. Wow. Nice. You guys did great. Everyone, everyone did wonderful. Thank you guys. Oh, you guys worked so good on this. Well, I will say model magic is one of my favorite things to work with. It's so fun. It's so versatile. You can really make anything with it. Anything your imagination can come up with. It's so nice because it doesn't stink. It doesn't have a weird smell to it. It's not messy. And it has that great tactile where we can just feel it in our hands. We can move it around. It's so nice.
And once your sun's dry, think of a place where you want to hang it. Does anybody have any uh, thought about where they would put their little sunshine to add a little sun in their, in their day? Where would they want to hang it? If anybody wants to unmute and kind of share, that would be nice. The Christmas tree. Hang on. On the Christmas tree. Awesome. Yeah. That's a great spot. Hi. Is that Megan? Yeah. I, my mom's name Megan. Oh, okay. So what's your name? Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. It's nice to see you. You joined us a little bit late. How are you doing? I actually joined early, but did something strange. Oh, okay. You're here now, though, so it's good to see you. How did your son turn out? Did you finish, or are you still working? Finish. You finished? Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw yours. Now, where would you I, want to... I would hang it on the front door. On the front door? To kind of welcome everybody in the home, huh? Welcome them with the nice sunshine. That's awesome. So sweet. How about anybody else? Have a thought of where you would want to put your little son? I'm going to hang my son above my daughter's bed. That's great. When I get mine done, that's a same place I'll hang ours also is either be above Margaret's or Emerson's bed. Awesome. I love that. A nice little place to greet the day and say goodnight to you too. You can make a moon too. A sun, a moon, all those beautiful things that we have in our world, right? Yeah. I love it, Abigail. <laughs> you guys are good at showing up. Very good at showing up. Yes. Awesome. How about for Sarah? Where would you want to put yours? You have to unmute, unmute yourself if you want to share. If you don't, that's okay too. I'm above Rachel's bed. Yeah. It sounds like that's a good place for him, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He's snoring right now. <laughs> <laughs> Getting some good sleep in. Thank you for joining us. Thank, Thank you guys you. all for joining us. That's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, I see. I see. Is that is it Chris? Is that your name? Yeah. You want to share a little? I'm not an artist. This was fun. Thank you. I feel <laughs> like a kid again. Awesome. It doesn't take much, does it? Um, it much. Well, yeah. Yeah. Virtual makes it look really good. And especially if I keep it blurry, it looks really good. Oh, adorable. Tess. <laughs> Thank you. Have a spot where you think you're going to put it. Um, I like the, I thought the front door was a great idea. Greet everybody with the sunshine. That was nice. Yeah. I like that too. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have any other, like, I know this is probably not what it's for, but do you have any other recommendations of things that would be similar to this clay or like some fun, easy things for, I don't know, um, easy things to work with with your, their hands? You know, I really love this clay a lot because it is so soft and stuff. Um, I really think felt is a great thing too. If you'd like to go with more like a tactile type of thing um, where you just do just cutting out a bunch of felt shapes and just kind of arranging them and not necessarily even gluing them down. Sometimes those sorts of things are nice. Um, hmm. I honestly, I love tearing paper. If you get a bunch of different colored papers and do like a tiered paper collage, so you don't even have to do scissors. You can just kind of get a glue stick. Um, I like going with the kind of real simple things if it's kind of um, depending on the level of ability so that it's a tactile experience, there's color, there's sound. So you're tapping into all those different senses that can just, that can just light somebody up, you know, when we get to, get to engage with all of our senses like that. Yeah. Thank you. She's really yeah. liking the, when she's rolling the clay around. So I mm -hmm. thought mm -hmm. I'd see if any other ideas. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Is that Thea at the bottom? I see that great sun. That's beautiful. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for letting me join in with your beautiful group and all your nice faces. And this was, this was great. Best way I could have spent my morning. Yeah. I'm, I wonder if the recommendation, um, the question asked what, what other things, do you know, Oblek? Have you ever heard of Oblek? It's just no. like cornstarch and water. You can look oh, at yeah, yeah. Google, oh, yeah, yeah. but um, I forget the actual science term. Under pressure, it's hard. Mm -hmm. or under pressure, it's soft. And mm -hmm. otherwise, it's hard. So yeah. it dries instantaneously as well. If it's dropped on the floor, it's super easy to clean up. But it's a wonderful sensory um, experience. Yeah. yeah. You can put color in it and make it different colors. Yeah. You can. You, you can know what we do? Put your hands yeah. in everything. Sorry. You know, I was going to say what we do at our house is we actually make um, chalk paint. And it's basically the same thing. It's cornstarch and water. And you add food coloring to it. You don't, you don't make it as thick as when you make the oobleck. Um, But you just use brushes and go outside and paint your sidewalk. And it's so yeah. much fun. It's so much fun and it's like the simplest cheapest yes. i'm i like to go with like the simplest the cheapest the most accessible um art supplies and and things that so that it's it's not complicated you don't have to feel like you have to go out to an art store and buy some sort of fancy expensive art supplies you don't Even you just, in that. <laughs> no, no you can get cornstarch and food coloring at the dollar store and yeah. have hours of fun Yes. Yeah. Obla, if you look it up, it's two O's. O O B L E C K. Obla. Yeah. Yeah. Obla. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thanks for sharing that one. That's a good one. Hmm. Well, our sons are done. Anne, do you want to share your son at all? Can I see it? I think maybe you did, but I'd like to see you again. Oh yeah. It's great. <laughs> you guys did so good. Daniela, love it. I love those little rays popping off of there. You guys did awesome. It it would be really cool if we could time it so that everybody could hold their son up close to the screen. And I will do, give me a second to be ready. I would do my best to do a screenshot. I can always pull it off the video if I fail on the screenshot. But then we can put it in the group and make everybody jealous that they didn't come today. Right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So everybody go ahead. And I, I'm almost ready. I'm waiting for my screen shot, my um, screen grabber to pull up. So give me just a second. So hold them there if you get them there. Will I tell you not to? Oh, there you go. Oh, too high. All right, here we go. I'm going to put mine up there. Everybody ready? Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Oops. Oh, that's an extra piece that fell off my plate. That is quite all right. Daddy. Hang on, Oops. All right. We got it. We got almost all of them. That's awesome. And then those that didn't were smiling nicely, and that's good too. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you guys are wonderful. You guys did all did really good. Even if you didn't feel like an artist or didn't think you were an artist, you you were today. You did it today. And keep making stuff. Keep I must making. say I'm impressed because I do not consider myself an artist or creative, and it was but wonderful. You are you are it's it's inside all of us yeah the, the ability to make things the desire to make things the need to make things it's inside of all of us and um doesn't matter what your ability is um you can do it Our, we all can we all need it so keep making things together and sharing and yeah it's our little internal voice that stops us from doing all those things we need to deal with so Don't don't listen to that. Nope, guy. just got to tell it to stop talking. Yeah. Thank you all. The yeah. step by step it's helps solid. as well. Thank you. Very <laughs> therapeutic. Very yeah. great. And a shout out to Theo's family. Uh, so glad to see you. Thank you. Thiago is uh, loved everywhere. Good to see you.
Right. Well, I want to thank the Krazzle team so much for being willing to do this with us and spending time with us today. This was really excellent. And we're so appreciative that you were able to come on and bring this to our families. So thank you. You're welcome. Um, yeah, it was my pleasure. It really was. It really was. Yeah.